Okay, guys, today I um, just made a zombie smasher. Smash em up. I call it the smash em up zombie. What this does is. Look at there's zombies being smashed. But what attracts them is these villagers. Now you know you're gonna have to have some cheating, but it's worth it. It totally is. And it's really easy. It's really inexpensive and of course with my other one the, everything would be destroyed from it and look at this you get all this rotten flesh let's make it night time again there we go okay for right now I'm gonna set it to peaceful now, as you can see, this will continuously chomp, I guess you could say. But these open up, thus attracting them inside. And what you're going to need for this is, of course, redstone, redstone repeaters, sticky pistons, any kind of block. I just like to use oak wood planks, redstone torches, sandstone. You can have these villagers or whatever. You need them and zombies. I'm just gonna use it to test. Okay, so what you need to do first is set you up a th three block and three block. So it's two. You you could make more, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now place your block on the back of these. Place your some repeaters. You could put delay on these, but I wouldn't. It's up to you place redstone on the back of these repeaters now on, on this first block either side it doesn't matter get your redstone torch place it directly under so every make sure every single one turns on like this you can place any block on your pistons or sticky pistons except for um, bedrock and obsidian that I guess you could say that they're too heavy I don't know I don't really get it okay now make sure you are one under this block now go another under and destroy some and then place another block okay now make you a big space get three across and four in length this including in, this including this one two three four now you can put any delay you want but you have to have some delay with this now place your repeaters like this place some redstone all the way across and then on the opposite side the opposite way so you see how these are facing this way make them make these face this way do the same thing and connect them now these you need to have at least two delay or else it's going way too fast and it will not make this turn on and off place a repeater um, you don't have to have repeaters, just, I think it's better, you could just do regular redstone, and you need less blocks like that. But make sure that this line is going towards this block. Now connect this block, destroy, oh yes, and you will also need a lever just to set this to the right place. Now, destroy a block to where you're on the middle of this redstone or this redstone I would do this redstone place your lever and go as, like that as fast as you can okay now it's going now I'm not sure if you can do it like this oh yeah you can you could just have two delay I think that's the best Now there we go. Now you see where this block is going? 
you need to have at least one space in between these. So go three, go up one, and make like yourself a little dome thingy to where your to where the zombies can get in. You're gonna need a door and all that good stuff, but I'm not gonna show that right now. Now, just put this one more block so people can't really tell what it is. And it looks cooler. And it's less annoying. I'm just gonna cover it all up. Cover this up. You need to cover it. Whoops. Do not place a block to where this will go off. Or else, no. It'll be all messed up. Let me turn the sound down. You guys probably can't hear me. I'm just gonna set that to whatever. There. Cover this up with whatever block. Okay, now you have something that looks like this, okay? Of course, if you step in, you're gonna get smashed. But the problem with it is, it's gonna boost you out. Eventually. Boost me out. You just did it. Okay. Sometimes it won't. There it did. It did it again. But the problem with that is, it's gonna do that so your zombies are like gonna get out before they die. So you're gonna need a door, but I'm gonna do that later. Now, with sandstone, I like to use sandstone. You can use your oak wood planks or whatever you used. Make sure these three blocks have sandstone. Go all the way across with them. Cover it all up. And go two up because they will escape. They will try to leave. And then they will die. And we do not want that. Now just, you could place more, but just place three for every block. They shouldn't really move that much, That's so that's good. And now you're pretty much done. Now all you need is your door. Press play. Press play. Now sometimes they're going to go over here. You can't really do this cuz uh it's they're just going to get like dang it they're just, they're just going to get boosted onto it dang it i got to show you They're not really going to get crushed. Because this is usually going to be on the outside. i got to fix that. Like if you're going to place it. It's going to be like that. And you're going to go in. And you're going to do that. That's what they're going to do. They're not going to get crushed. So you cannot do that. But if another zombie opens one of the doors. They will all go to one of the doors. Okay, let's make it night time. Again. Oh crap. See watch. They are now they are now being crushed. Now I'm just gonna spawn a ton. Now see they're all going to this wall. Now if you go like this, they all try to go in. See, yeah, that's awesome. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. They um and also before I forget, once they're killed, 
they will actually drop whatever it is and once all these stupid guys die sometimes they'll get pushed out of right here or pushed out over here like that one just did but it's easy to get okay and then it, it like just gets all pushed out most of it or it gets destroyed so that guy got 10 from 10 to 16 now to 20 so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a zombie smasher if you have any comments or anything you want to say about it just tell me and thank you guys for watching again Solo Miner is out. Peace.